right, we're taking a step away from listening to music for a second, and we're going to listen to some comedy skits. Awkward X's Britain and America, 4th of July, 2021, by We Are... I'm see. I probably butchered that. Sorry. Uh, somebody tell me how to pronounce it in the comments. Anyway, let's jump in and do this as always, guys. If you enjoy the content, remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. Alright, yeah. Patreon, early access, exclusive content. So if it gets blocked here, you'll find it there. And merch. Merch, 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 merch. Check out the merch there. If y'all have any ideas for merch, as always, message me in Discord and we'll figure out something. Alright, let's do this. I know it's huge and I don't remember seeing it. What? Yeah, it was pretty good. I thought it was funny. If you haven't seen it, could you check out Mama Said by Lucas Graham? Mama Said that it'd be okay. Graham. Oh, look, Graham. Mama Said it'd be quite all right. I know that song. It's very popular. All right. Let's do this. Thank you all so much for coming to my party, but I really have to get back to my in-person guests. Bye. America, happy birthday. Oh, hey, Britain. I didn't think you were ever going to show up. Now you know what it was like for me during World War II. God, you're never going to give up on that, are you? Didn't give up then, not going to give up now. Oh, you know what, America? I get it now. Uh, the, the whole independence thing? Being free of Europe means I can trade with whomever I want and sell my wild oats. I mean, at least, you know, I will you know, as soon as this pandemic's over. Yeah, that's not independence, Britain. That's loneliness. <laughs> not lonely. Oh, yeah, sure, like you weren't lonely when you came crawling back to me in 1812? No. <laughs> no. I was just checking in on you. Frankly, I was relieved when you declared your independence because it meant I didn't have to look after you anymore. You always get so awkward around Independence Day. Are you sure this isn't about, you know, you being isolated in the North Sea during a pandemic, cut off from Europe? I mean, the Irish twins clearly did not react well. Ugh, they're a pain in my side. <laughs> Honestly, after the time I've had, it's a miracle I'm still in one piece. Listen, I get it. For the past few years, I've been so conflicted, even over the most inalienable things. And then the pandemic happened and... Oh, sorry, are you okay with me talking about lockdown? No, I, I'm, I'm glad you feel ready to open up. Uh, how's the party? It's pretty good. I mean, it's so much better than my last party. That one got seriously out of control. I was in a really bad headspace at the time. I started believing this big lie. Big lie? Well, I thought it was pronounced bigly. Yeah, no. Anyway, this year I got all riled up and as if on cue and to cap it all off, I turned against myself. I heard. I'm sorry. That was a really bad precedent. Seriously, it made Benedict Arnold look like less of a traitor. What do you mean? He was the only one of your lot who wasn't a traitor. Oh. Yeah, so anyway, after all of that, I realized I had to completely change everything. So I've been on this total detox since late January. And oh, like after Thanksgiving? Huh? Cold turkey? Oh, God, you know what? Sometimes I really hate British humor. Sorry. Go on. Yeah, so I think I'm doing really well. I mean, I started injecting my life with all these positive things, and I'm planning this huge renovation. I mean, it's going to set me back like more than a trillion, but I think it'll really improve the value of my home over time. Yeah, I could do with a trillion dollars. <laughs> oh, ah, I've got a joke for you. Uh-huh. Okay, what did Britain say when he tried to booty call his ex? I don't know. You're up? <laughs> <laughs> Right? No. That's you know, so awkward. Burn. The White House. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> when they stormed the White House. Oh, that was. <laughs> that was an inside job. We all know it. Britain. What are you talking about? That was 1814. Yeah. When you stormed the Capitol, claiming you were just trying to win me back? Oh, now there's a... Uh, oops. I thought they were talking about... 
few years ago. Oops, well, well this is awkward. <laughs> mm. Remind you of anything, huh? Honestly, I was I was pretty drunk on Napoleon brandy at the time. Oh, you can be such a Johnson. I am really tired of you taking advantage of our special relationship. It's not that special. Oh, God, Britain, you are ruining my birthday again. Fine. Guess you don't want me around either. Brexit. Hi, we are We Are Tenacity. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please like our channel, subscribe to our videos, and check out all the rest of our 100 plus videos so you can keep laughing, keep enjoying, and we can keep making content. Bye. Thank you. Bye. On a scale of 1 to 10, how funny was it? Three. Three? <laughs> There's a few funny spots. There, there was, was a few. Like, what? There, there, what? there was a lot of dry sense humor in there. Uh, not the funny, like, I, I don't know. I'm just so used to, like, watching hilarious stuff. Like, uh, Robin Williams. I still watch Robin Williams, even though he's gone. I yeah. sit there and watch his comedy stuff going on. Uh... Oh. Who else do I watch? The Mean Machine. Yeah. <laughs> the other one is funnier. Well, you told me this one. Whose fault is it? <laughs> uh, better luck next time, I guess. It's all right. Tell us what you all think in the comments.